agencies yeah. to use their property, some parts of the house, okay. to have their own reunions. But yeah. uh, because it's open to everybody, we will have booths about uh, what the different ministries of campus per se, and also booths for partners of our ministry. And we will also be launching a book of Dr. Luzon, Andrew Luzon, uh, about his uh, stewardship book. His first book, is it? Yeah, he's so excited about it. And we have also partners who will be sharing their uh, products. Uh, uh, around, there will be an organized break at 3 to 4, but 4 to 6, you uh, 1 to 3, we have some artist guests, uh, like uh, actresses like Gina Lahar and all those people to, to help spice the, the events. At the, at the four to six, it is also it's designed that there will be like a concert uh, woven into the program. And Gary Valenciano will also be giving a one hour concert at the end. Our main speaker at the, at the four to six part will be uh, Reverend Peter Tanchi. And he will be uh, inviting people about the uh, how to have a lifestyle of evangelism, challenging people to have a lifestyle of evangelism and discipleship from uh, after 50 years and onwards. Uh, now then, job. Okay. Mostly that's that's the way it goes. And our final partner will also be there. Of course, they have to be there. <laughs> and, it's, and it's free. Uh, it is free. It's free. It's free. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're inviting the whole Christian community to, to celebrate with us. So this will be involving mostly students, where Campus Crusade is involved, and the different mountains of uh, influence. We have businessmen and arts and entertainment people and professionals and pro uh, educators and all those things. Hopefully, most of the people we are involved with in a half of time and celebrate with us. Does that help? Thank you very much. Okay. Um, good evening. I'm Marjorie of Women and Digital. Um, aside from or before the, the celebration, the fifth celebration, I think we have we also have events and celebration. Yeah, prior to that, could you tell us more about it? Joffrey, events that before. Before. There will be a marathon. Yeah. yeah. Anthony, there will be a fun run that we will have on November 28th. Yeah, the whole family. <laughs> the, whole, the idea of this is bring your whole family with strollers and everything. Uh, mostly those who are connected with Campus Crusade. It's a 2.5 and a 5 kilometer run now. That's on November 28th. And then, job? Art of marriage. Art of marriage. So we have big events like uh, on October 17th we have Art of Marriage. It's sponsored by Family Life Ministry. That's the ministry for lovely families. It will be held at Miralco Convention Center from Multipurpose Hall. Ah, Miralco Multipurpose Hall uh, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then another big event is the Fun Run. I guess it's but almost, uh, we have also regional celebration uh, for Davao. We had recently one in Davao City. Prior to that, we had in Cebu City and Tumaguete. Uh, October, uh, October 24, we will have in Baguio City. October 25, we have one in Chabino City. October 31 is on Disabilities. Uh, because Naga City, since the campus crusade for Christ is nationwide, and we have ministries in these different uh, regions, we also want to gather and reconnect with our disciples from different sectors at those centers. At the same time, we also have campus reunions. Like tomorrow, we will have De La Salle University. Uh, UP Los Baños. So each uh, campuses we are having their own know, reunions. So we have packets of reunions since September up to November. In the hope that they will all come down to Manila and celebrate with us. Thank you, Yes. 
Actually, like what Anthony has been saying a while ago, uh, on October 7, we just had a huge gathering of artists naman. Artists in Touch is a ministry of Campus Crusade that's designed for arts and entertainment people. Tapos, Manny Pacquiao joined efforts with us, Artists in Touch, and by God's grace, we saw around 240 artists who came. 75% were Christians, about 25% were non-Christians. So we were able to, you can, you can look at our Facebooks for pictures, <laughs> but it was a wonderfully attended uh, activity. All right. Yes, sir. As a follow-up question, um, do you have an estimate or how many are you expecting on November 13th? Yes, our goal is to see, because the Christ Commission Fellowship uh, capacity is 10,000. We're hoping to gather 10,000, and that's why we're inviting you to write in your blog so that people will know more about our event. Lahat ng ginagawa namin is all leading to the November 30th celebration. Sorry, sa member pa lang kaya ka ng CCF? Well, not all CCF members are Campus Crusade involved. But of course, if they want to come, they're welcome to come. Pastor Peter Tanchi has uh, given an invitation. And I, we're hoping that they will put it in their blogs. So, so we're hoping to see a lot of CCF too. Oh, actually, tama. <laughs> Any questions for our guests? Yes, sir. Um, hi, uh, my name is Alice Russell from WildWeb.com. Uh, any of the pages that can answer, so do you use your Google or Microchip? Uh, since uh, the campus receipts of evangelism, are there are instances where you, you encounter the resistance from, let's say, our prospects? And which is more applicable? on the way that you uh, handle it? Is it patience or perseverance? Ah, good question. Patience or perseverance. perseverance. Uh, so tell us about one, some one, of the one, resistance one, that you oh. encounter. <laughs> as in yeah, in the sense. They call me a difference eh, between patience and perseverance. An <laughs> 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 leading and spirit. I think that's uh, the most important. For me, that's my experience. Mm -hmm. Be patient, be patient. Pag sinabi, persevere, persevere. Pag sinabi, huwag ka tumigil, huwag ka tumigil, huwag ka titigil. I don't think there is one way. And I've seen that in uh, CCC uh, missionaries and, and student leaders. And, you know, um, people who walk with us professionals through the years of my life. So, for me, it's, uh, it's always... It's always filled with opposition. Yeah. And that's something you have to anticipate, Because right? it's not just the I mean, come on, it's not just the forces of light that is darkness. So you have to take that as a given. But God has called different people and different walks, different callings, different influences, different connections. That's why it's so important we do it as a community. Because if you're not a pastor, to share, eh, yung doktor, <laughs> di ba, nagagamot sa kanya. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it, and you have to just be sensitive to the leading of the Spirit because God has already purposed, right, uh, these people to be saved. So, kung sasabay lang tayo, sigurado mangyayari yung plan niya. Gusto ko sa Kenya, no? Kasi, totoo eh, um, for us doctors, dalawa lang naman yun eh. It's either it's a patient or it's a doctor, a doctor, right? Uh, the opposition will always be there. Sabi nga, when it's a pastor that comes to the hospital, usually the patient already knows eh, na ay, pagdatasal lang mo ito, and stuff like that. Dalo na, sarado na yan. But when it's your doctor talking to you, and I'm genuinely, con genuinely concerned about not just your physical health, but your spiritual health as well. Captured audience. Na yan. Secondly, um, tamay sinabi ni Sir Anthony na the opposition will always be there. The area in which we're put will have different, we have all different battles to fight. Yan ang sabi ni Pastor Jerry na lang tama po. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, in the army, it's different because he's talking to officers and retirement. For us, for doctors, science is always your greatest enemy. 
almost all the doctors will say that you know what scientific and anyway, should I follow that? So it's a different battle that we doctors have to face. Now the greatest thing about it is, sabi ko nga, pag pasyente mo yan, alam mo yung medical and physical condition yan, pag alam mo medyo kulang ka na sa oras, perseverance ka na, medyo, medyo tama na yung patients. But if it's doctors kasi, I rarely see a doctor that understands everything on the first try. I mean, I'm, I'm sure all of you have encountered doctors, right? Have you ever convinced your doctor of something on the first sentence? Na, doon wala akong sakit eh. Hindi, meron kong patis ka. Seriously. <laughs> Have you ever convinced your doctor of anything on the first sentence? Binong bira. So with doctors, usually, we invest a lot of prayer. As in, a lot of prayer. And I'm sure in any other field, it will be the same. Sabi nga sa campus ko say, you always leave the results to God. Diba? You do what you can and you leave the results to God. So whether it's patience, perseverance, or both, which I think both would suffice better, you, you just always need the leading of the Holy Spirit to guide the truth. Yeah. Uh, uh, in my part, man, uh, so since uh, I came from the military, I know how the military thinks, I know how the military uh, works. There's a position, give it, give it to the military. It's uh, stone-hearted. Eh, no? But since I know what they need, because we, we have this thing like felt need and real need, people will relate with you if you will be able to meet their felt need first. What are the felt needs? Those that they need physically, like do they need uh, food? Do they need education? Do they need uh, security? So if I could bring that to them, they will start, and I start, Meeting that, then I will reach out to their real need, which is their spiritual need. So that's how I relate to the our men in uniform. Because if you will go to them and directly tell them, this is what you need, the gospel, they will say, I don't need that. Yeah, so they will immediately brush you off. But they will say, you know, you need leadership skills. Eh? What will teach you leadership skills? They will teach you. But along the way, I can show you that that's not really your deepest, deep, deeper need. Your deeper need is your heart. So this is the answer. So usually, but of course, there's a lot of opposition. It's how you, how you, you share it to them. So, because I, I came from the military, so I know it. I know how they, what their needs really are. So that's how. Yun yung aking anak Great. Any other questions? Siguro, uh, Anthony, before you leave, can you greet Campus Crusade for Christ on video? Let's <laughs> ask you to, to greet them for our 50th anniversary. Live, yeah, live. Use the mic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Siguro, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, love. Oh, greet the love. <laughs> okay. Siguro, love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Campus Crusade, congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank to CCC, happy anniversary, congratulations for 50 years, I'm 52, so happy birthday to us. Thank you for being a part of my life, thank you for saving me. But thank you also that apart from saving me, you've helped transform me, and in the process, by God's grace, I've been able to help transform others too. So God bless you, looking forward to the next 50 years, and we're, hope, uh, we're hoping we'll be there for the 100th year. In Jesus' name, Amen. Andre, two na tayo. Is it okay if I stand up? Yes. No? Okay. We'll let Anthony go because oh, he has you. another appointment. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much, Anthony. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and uh, we greet you on your 50th anniversary. Thank you, you, thank you very much for accepting me and your family. Thank you, Lord. thank you very much for journeying with me and keeping me grounded in my faith, keeping me grounded in the mission God has given to me. Once again, God bless you all. Amen. Kailangan ba kayo energy talaga? <laughs> Game na ba? Sige na. Oh. Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ. 50 years. Imagine that. 50 years. Naku, ang laki ng tinanda niyo sa akin. <laughs> Happy anniversary to all the Campus Crusade for Christ. I know you've touched many lives all over the world. And I know you've transformed the Philippines. But as you well know, maraming pang po yung pwedeng gawin for the next 50 years. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Andrea, we have some press kits for them. Yes, and they're in your hands already. Yes. Anything else that you want? Okay, in the last part, we will just show a video of Peter Tanchi. Uh, I'd like you to just watch this and we'll end our time. Unless you have any other questions. Okay, so... Yes, please. Have a blessed day today. I want to congratulate Campus Crusade for Christ for 50 years of faithful ministry in the Philippines. What a joy. What a privilege to be able to serve God for 50 years. Campus Crusade has impacted my life. I remember when I first learned the principle of the spirit filled life from Campus Crusade for Christ and the importance of sharing the gospel. It has been the guiding principles of our lives, our ministry, especially this amazing vocation, success in witnessing, is sharing the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit and living the results in God. I praise God for CCC. If you have been influenced by Campus Crusade for Christ in college, in the business room, I'd like to invite all of you to come to CCF Center on November 30th from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. as we celebrate together God's faithfulness in and through the ministry of Campus Crusade for Christ. I would love to invite you if you want this, like, if you want, if you can put this on your blogs, can you give your cards to the case? Or if you need soft copies of our materials or some of our posters that you can put in your blogs, we'd love to share them with you. So kindly give your email addresses to Ace and he will send it to you. We also have a website that you can look at, movementlife.org. And we have, what else? The hashtags are PCCC15 Facebook. We have a Facebook. So we put there whatever is happening. And then we have hashtag change to change. And so you'll see a lot of uh, pictures there and, and stories. All right. Andrea, are we done? Or do you have anything else? We appreciate Andrea Chavez. Thank you. Let's give her a round. So she has just invited you. <laughs> Any other last words, Andrea? Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. So um, you're free to interview if you wanna interview the our uh, resource person. So we just really wanna show um, how, because I'm a campus crusader, din ako rin. so I met God, I met Jesus, and I was in college uh, through Campus Crusade for Christ, and it has really helped me um, in my personal walk as well. So um, that's we really wanted to kumbaga, showcase the changed lives because of what God has done in our lives. And thank you again, everybody, and we thank you. Thank you, Jerry. No, hope you'll write about us. No? Please uh, write a good thing.